The city has removed the concrete poles that were built into the concrete curb that kept bicyclists and walkers safe. They've replaced them with a more flexible tube, and one of them is already gone. It's kind of funny that the solution to cars hitting the protection was to remove the protection. I guess, I don't know, people are more expendable than bollards. Trevor Preddy is not being flippant. He says the message the city is sending by removing the concrete poles, which are technically called bollards, is bike rider safety is second to car drivers. Getting off the road and onto a dedicated bike lane is the safe space for riders. The Shelby Street bike lane attracts a lot of riders, particularly due to the infrastructure that made up the two-lane paved path. Now the concrete bollards have been removed by the city, and Preddy says it's just not as safe. It's a matter of how much our city cares to keep people like me safe. Gas prices are high, it's cheap, it's fun. But instead, people have to fear further mortality every time they come out. The Department of Public Works said in a statement, NDDPW did not anticipate the damage that could be done to the protective curb if struck nor the time-consuming maintenance required thereafter. After a car or bus hit one of the bollards, they often are left leaning into the bike lane, along with piles of concrete from the curb that held them in place. DPW says that the new flexible poles are in line with national safety standards. DPW reminds drivers that are using Shelby Street that their cars are much heavier than bicycles and that they should obey the rules of the road. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, I Team 8.